what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for chucky season 2 episode 6 he is risen indeed i believe is the name of the episode episode 6 starts with andy driving off a cliff like in episode 1 so we're picking off back at the start of the season premiere and we see uh two chucky dolls pull andy's body away from that wreck uh under instructions from the colonel chucky who is bald this doll has been calling the shots and goes by the name of charlie it's revealed dr mixter used used to be charles therapist so she definitely intentionally planned the kids arriving at incarnate lord so like now you see some things falling into place and making more sense i think this also means she has something to do with Bree's death in season one as well devin and lexi are shown walking into the cabin to find andy so they can untie him and set him free andy seems out of it devin tries to help him remember who he is andy cries over kyle because he thinks that she's dead he asks devin where chucky is and demands to be taken to the school sister ruth is shown serving buff chucky who brags about killing the priest in order to get in a quick workout <laughs> chucky tells ruth she could die or she should dye her hair blonde. Ruth cleans his feet and says he can have anything he wants. Buff Chucky notices the colonel has arrived and he doesn't seem too pleased about this. In the church, Father Bryce reminds the students of the rules at Incarnate Lord before before being in before being in place to protect and if broken, it could place people in jeopardy. Father Bryce is aware that students have broken the rule of leaving campus, so he places the school on lockdown. Jake is shown being questioned in the hall about Trevor's whereabouts, but Dr. Mixter comes in with the colonel, and Jake starts to think Dr. Mixter is working with Chucky during this exchange. Father Bryce locks students in their rooms, and Catherine confronts him once again. Sister Catherine. Lexi and Devin walk into the school with Andy, and they pass him off as someone in need of the church's help. Father Bryce tells Catherine letting a strange man in is inappropriate, and the two clash again over Bryce being a hypocrite. Catherine asks the man's name, and he truthfully reveals that he is Andy. Andy Barkley. He doesn't say Barkley, I don't believe. He says he's Andy. Father Bryce tells Lexi and Devin to get upstairs, and he'll be up soon to lock them in. Lexi and Devin come across Dr. Mixter, who openly reveals she planned to get them sent to Incarnate Lord. Lexi asks Dr. Mixter how it feels to be a red-headed doll's little bitch. So there she goes, showing some of her signature traits from season one. Dr. Mixter says Chucky is going to kill each and every one of them, and she will be there to watch linda wakes up from killing from the killing joan dream in a hotel or motel room she texts glenn to ask if he also or, or they also had they text glenn to ask if they also had the dream and glenn sends pics of the glenn doll glenda goes to be with kyle and nika they plan on going to new jersey to meet with chucky so nika and chucky can stop sharing a body kyle asks if chucky ever mentions andy because she believes andy is still alive kyle asks to speak to chucky and makes him appear in nika's body chucky taunts kyle kyle because he's shocked she's still alive and that no one died in that house fire which again i've said is pretty ridiculous kyle asks where is andy and chucky says he is dead chucky tells glenda to kill kyle but glenda tells kyle to slap nika so she so she comes back the news the news reports that jennifer tilly is wanted for questioning and there is a manhunt underway devin and jake reconnect to talk about the colonel and dr mixter jake tells devin that they should prepare for whatever battle the colonel has planned jake tells devin what he and lexi did was brave but a fly starts buzzing around the room and then we see nice chucky killing it Catherine takes care of Andy and tries to clean him up. The colonel is watching without them noticing. Catherine leaves the room and Andy grabs a weapon to be prepared for when Chucky strikes. Sister Ruth goes to see Father Bryce. She tells him that the Lord has risen inside of Buff Chucky. Father Bryce clearly thinks she's insane and asks her to come pray so her fever can pass. Father Bryce tells Ruth to go to her room. Buff Chucky confronts the colonel and the colonel has poisoned Buff Chucky before the fight even begun. Buff Chucky dies and the colonel laughs at this. Devin reveals that that the colonel chucky killed all the other chuckies and now he's the only one left besides nice chucky nadine reveals all the supplies she has to fight the colonel with brass knuckles for nice chucky to use lexi gets nervous and nice chucky offers her some drugs the colonel walks into the room and the kids are ready to fight the colonel falls over revealing they have been stabbed in the back by andy via the scissors 
that they had grabbed to protect themselves. Andy questions the kids for teaming with Nice Chucky. Ruth mourns Buff Chucky and says she will avenge thee, my lord. Dr. Mixter watches, but she receives a phone call from Nika, who is actually Chucky at this point, and Mixter says he should hurry because there's one doll left. Only one doll left. Andy tries to kill Nice Chucky, but Dr. Doc Dr. Mixter takes him away after holding them at gunpoint for the doll. Nice Chucky asks for help when Father Bryce walks in. Mixter shoots Catherine and Andy fights with her over the gun as the two tumble down the stairs. Nice Chucky runs to hide and Nadine follows. Mixter holds a gun up to Father Bryce and Catherine. Nice Chucky ends up pushing Nadine out of a window to her death before questioning what they have done like they snap out of it. So at this point it's like is he pretending or is there really something malfunctioning with him and he's really good and it's just not working anymore but it seems again that the nice side is becoming conflicted with his evil side by the time that this episode is over. This episode was pretty uh pretty chaotic i would say and of course the way it ended i know definitely had a lot of people floored and yes nadine was the fire starter death that i was referring to i just know that so many people felt attached to nadine and just because they killed her i don't want people to think that they wasted her or anything like that nadine is still someone who is very important when you consider how she has been there for lexi this season nadine nadine's loss is something that will play into what you see going forward with lexi and like i said before to those of you who follow me on twitter those to still share a nice moment on on the next episode that's coming next week episode seven i know some people they were thinking oh if they share a nice moment in episode seven surely she won't die in episode six i was hoping that they would think that because now this only makes that death even more shocking and hopefully a lot more just emotional for you <laughs> so nadine is gone this is a fun episode definitely again a step in the right direction much better than the episode four i would say it's in line with what we saw last week with episode five episode seven is going to have some pretty wacky things going on in it in terms terms of what you probably have already seen in the promo if not there's going to be an exorcism next week i'm just going to tell you that pretty wacky stuff going on but you guys can let me know what you thought about episode six down in the comment section below what do you think about nadine's death do you think nadine's death is going to be used in a positive way or do you think nadine died for nothing you can let me know down in the comment section below i'm going to tell you right now she did not die for nothing she died uh for i won't say she died for a reason related to anything like with nadine as much as she died as it relates to lexi's arc this season it's mostly to do with next lexi let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video